Luke and Han should kiss. That's all I'm saying. It's not a big deal if they make out. I'm Joe Tonelli, and Sky Solo is the ship that I'm sailing. Or flying. Now we all know Luke first meets Han in the Mos Eisley Cantina in A New Hope. You know, they're all hanging out with all the weird aliens. Luke and Obi-Wan gotta go to Alderaan and they hire Han to get there. And as soon as we meet him, we see that Han is like a bad boy and he's really cool. Luke is just a well-meaning tryhard from a farm. And Han is, you know, rebel with a cool spaceship. His best friend is a, a Wookiee and he's just awesome. He's got a big gun. Han's more experienced, more street smart and exposes Luke to the way that the galaxy really is. It's a perfect tale of opposites attract. Han has the potential to broaden Luke's horizons, and through Luke, Han would see the world through these unjaded college freshman eyes. And I'm certainly not the first person to ship these two handsome young fellows. The couple's been in flaming hearts almost since the onset of Star Wars. But back before the internet, shipping was limited to meetups and fanzines, and Lucasfilms took a very hard line against zines that featured explicit material. Unfortunately, in the 80s, two men cuddling in a tauntaun skin was considered extremely explicit. There was even a formal letter from the official Star Wars fan club that was sent out to these zines. Despite our word of mouth warning to the contrary, some publishers have chosen to print stories with the Star Wars characters in X-rated pornographic situations. Lucasfilm Limited does own all rights to the Star Wars characters, and we are going to insist upon no pornography. This may mean no fanzines, if that measure is what is necessary to stop the few from darkening the reputation our company is so proud of. For now, the few who ignore the limits of good taste have been turned over to our legal department for legal action. Responses to this letter were mixed, of course, you know, with some zines agreeing to publish only stories that abided by these other rules, and others refusing and going much further underground but limiting their publication run. Ultimately, these letters appear to have put a big limiting factor on early Star Wars fan fiction. The threat of lawsuits and legal recourse forced many writers to limit where and with whom they shared their stories. But now we have the internet and a few decades of normalizing men kissing in fandom spaces, and here we are. So we're finally getting the Han and Luke content we crave. Listen, all I'm saying is that Luke and Han should kiss. They should make out. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not trying to change the future of Star Wars. I'm not rewriting canon. I just don't think it would be the end of the world if we all imagine that once or twice or five times out in the lonely vacuum of space, cooped up in your really cool spaceship, these two handsome young men with beautiful abs sought out a little companionship with each other. And these two obviously care about each other in a very special way. Look at the way they look at each other. Look at the way they embrace each other. I don't see them staying together forever. I don't see them getting into a long-term relationship. They'd of course both grow as a result of being together and learning from one another, but ultimately drift apart amicably. It's just a little fling that neither of them would regret. Oh, what does Chewie think? I never really thought of this. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm.